so excited to see you tomorrow. We are going to start with our morning Monday circle. So we have three questions. Um, I will turn the camera around so that you can see your friends when they're answering the question. Our first question is, do you like to go looking at Christmas lights? Yes. Oh, remember, wait for your name. Okay, so we're going to go over here first. Leela, do you like looking at Christmas lights? Yes. Eli? You can say it. Yes. Yes. My mama drove me over to see them, and they looked beautiful. So you, yes, you like to look at Christmas lights? And I, Not, oh, and I, just yes or no. Just yes or no. Um, Layla? So one night. Oh, just yes or no. Do you like to go looking at Christmas yeah. lights? Yep. Stella? Yes, but with music. Okay. Gabe? Oh, just yes or no. Yes. Um, Evan? I do like looking at Christmas lights. Nice. Like Austin? Oh, just yes or no? Yes. 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 Nice. Okay. Another, our next question is, what virtue are you working on during Advent? What's a virtue? I was going to tell you that. So a virtue is something that helps you grow closer to God. So we talked about self-control. Self-control helps us control our, Body. our bodies. So that way we can act the way that God wants us to act. Patience is a virtue. Patience is... Um, I love you. Well, patience is like if like, something I, is really hard for you or maybe somebody's maybe doing something... Maybe the mail's in the, it's supposed to come today, but it's like taking so long, so you have to wait a little. You have to be patient. That's right. You're waiting um, to... Do something that you like. Um, and patience is really good because we practice it during Advent. We have to be patient when we're waiting for Jesus' birthday. Um, let's see. Well, Christmas is his birthday. Christmas is his birthday. You're right. Love, charity. That's um, a virtue. Practicing charity with other people. It means doing kind things for them. Um Thankfulness is a virtue. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Be there's nice. lots. Huh? Be nice. Yeah, so why don't you tell me, in it, you just tell me what you're working on during Advent it's to like, get your heart ready your for daughter, Jesus. I don't have an Advent. Oh. Up too. Okay. We are talking about something else right now. So tell me one thing, Eli. Control your body. Remember, self-control. One thing that you're working on during Advent to get your heart ready for Jesus. Um, oh, it's not your turn. We had a big feast at our house. Okay, how did that get you ready for Jesus? Hmm, think of something that you're doing that would help make room in your heart for Jesus to come in. Maybe you're praying more. Maybe... You're talking to Mary. Maybe you're spending quiet time. Maybe you're trying to pay attention during Mass. Maybe you're trying to be kinder to the people around you. Maybe you're doing things for your family to help them. The day before yesterday, I did chores. <gasps> you did some chores. That's a good thing. Thinking of others before yourself. That does get your heart ready. Yeah, that's good. Eli, what are you doing to get your heart ready? Remember, how does that get your heart ready for Jesus? You're spending time with them. Um, okay, I want you to think about something that gets your heart ready for Jesus, though. 
What are you doing at home that gets your heart ready for Jesus or at school? Hmm. Keep thinking about it. We're going to come back to you. Keep thinking. Emerson, what do you do that gets your heart ready for Jesus? I'm doing chores at nighttime for my mama. And then um, I'm doing chores at nighttime for my mama. And then um, bending for her when her tells me to do that. And I do it. Hmm. Okay. Doing your chores. Layla? What do you, are you going to? I did one chore for my mama. Okay. So a lot of us are doing chores. Let's also think about how we're making room. That's a good thing, doing chores for our family. But also let's think about how we're making room in our heart. Like when we're taking time to think about Jesus, when we take time to pray, when we make room for him. Stella? Um. Patience. She's practicing patience with do you with somebody in particular or with everybody? With God. Patience with God. So it's not, I can wait for God's birthday. Yes, that is a good one. Gabe? Uh, oh, it's not your turn. Chores for your dad. Chores for your dad. Okay, thinking of others before ourselves. You, Evan? Uh, I was praying for Isis and Max because they were dead. Okay, they praying were, though. Because I, wa- I wanted them to stay. Mm-hmm. Praying helps us when, when we want something that, um, that maybe didn't happen. Praying and talking to God helps us. Um, it just helps us. Helps our hearts. Austin? The grandma died. Yeah, so how is that getting your heart ready for Jesus? Are you doing something? No? Think about something that you're doing during Advent that would make Jesus happy. Or where you're asking Jesus to be with you. Over. Who'd you draw a card for? Jesus. Oh, yeah, drawing him special oh, picture. Oh, on Letty. Um, now he draws for my dad when he comes home from work. Okay. Eli, did you think of something that helps your heart? Uh huh. Okay. Oh, would you do it with a smile on your face like Mary did? Mm-hmm. So he's practicing to be a little Mario. That is perfect for Christmas time. Okay, our last question is, would you rather have hot chocolate or apple cider? You can only pick one. Hot. Oh, it's not your turn. Oh, apple cider is kind of like warmed up apple juice. It's a little bit spicier. No, because it's a drink. Applesauce is something you eat. Apple cider you drink, and it's warm like hot chocolate. It's warm, but it tastes like apple juice, just a little bit spicier. Have you? So, would you rather have that or hot chocolate? Oh, wait for your turn, Layla, Leela. Hot chocolate, Eli. Hot chocolate. Emerson? Hot chocolate. Layla? Hot chocolate. Stella? Hot chocolate. Gabe? Hot chocolate. Um, Evan? Hot apple cider. Oh. Uh, Austin? Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. Stella, or, <laughs> Letty? Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. So there were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. eight. Lots of hot chocolate. Yeah, but that's okay. All right, I'm going to play us a song. It, the song is called What Child Is This? And we are going to listen to that while we get ready. This is part of preparing our hearts for Jesus.
So I want you to sit nicely. You're gonna sit. Jesus is born and laying in the manger. We hear about how Mary's put Christ the King. I, I know the song now. It's my mom's call. Yes. Okay. Today, our, actually, I'll tell you what our um, tall candle, the pink one, is. Huh? It means Jesus is almost here. You're right. So our first candle means hope, hope. hope. peace, peace. peace. Hope. Jesus brings us peace. Hope. The next one is hope. We have hope when Jesus came and into the world because he and saved us. And oh, Jesus coming. oh, yikes. Oh. I need everyone to take a bubble and put it in their mouth. Wow, we're screaming over me and I can't talk. The third candle is, meets, I'm sorry, it's my turn to talk, is joy. Uh, I think that's what it was. Hold on, let me check one more time. Perfect, do I read? Yes. Joy. We have joy waiting for Jesus to come. The shepherds had joy when they were waiting for Jesus and they got to go see him. We have lots of joy because Jesus, actually, because we believe in Jesus, we should be joyful all the time because we know that Jesus conquered us and saved us. Okay. Oh, got to open my box because our ornament today is, what does this look like? Earth. It looks like earth. When you see it, you probably can't see it too good. But the top of it is sparkly like a king's crown. So it's earth, and then the top of it is sparkly like a king's crown. When one of the titles that we call Jesus is King of Kings. On earth, there might be a lot of different kings. There might We have a president. But he's a king of kings. But Jesus, that's why this top is sparkly, because the top, we're going to say Jesus is in heaven. Jesus is king over everybody in earth. No king, no president, no person is more powerful than Jesus. He is, here are the kings. He is the king of kings. He has power over everyone. Okay, so I'm going to give you that. Over the devil? Oh, for sure over the devil. If Jesus tells the devil he can't do something, the devil can't do it. If Jesus tells the devil to leave somebody alone, the devil can't bother them anymore. Jesus, even the devil and all of his friends know that Jesus is the king of kings. Jesus is awesome. Jesus can yep. do anything. In the Bible, we hear when the devil was going around messing with people and Jesus would come near, the devil would get scared and say, go away. Because he didn't want Jesus to come by. Because he knows Jesus is God. And God, oh, it conquered the devil. The devil has no power. 
over God. Okay. because yeah, God is the strongest. That's right. God is the strongest. Here is uh, our Bible quote. The lamb. Who's the lamb? Uh, uh, Not a. Well, you're right. We are the sheep. But oh, we haven't talked about, I guess, the lamb. Jesus is the lamb. And we'll talk about that. That's another title. We'll talk about the lamb. The lamb will conquer them for he is Lord of lords and king of kings. And those with him are called chosen and faithful. Christ Jesus has power over everything. He does not use violence. Violence um, is like being mean to other people. He doesn't use violence, but because he perseveres in love, even when we face troubles, we can be joyful because Jesus is king of everything and his truth, the truth, will win. So we never have to be troubled about things because we know that Jesus sees everything, Jesus knows everything, and he is the king and everything will work for his glory. So what is Jesus' title today? King of King of Kings. King of Kings. But he is the king of earth. He's also the king of everything outside of earth, though. He's king of heaven. He's king over everyone. Uh, in the, yep. He's king of the devil. He's king over everything. The whole universe. The whole king universe. Of the shoes. He's king of everything. He gave us those shoes. <laughs> king of everything. King of the sticky socks. Go oh, keep passing. Oh, you know what? I want you to go ahead and put your bubble in. Evan, keep passing it. Keep passing it. I'm still looking at it. Well, we got to hurry, scurry, friend. Remember, we're not going to throw it, though. Okay. Um, we could play O Come Is Come Emmanuel, and you guys can sing along. turn the video off. We're going to change jobs and do circle time and then um, yeah, we'll see you soon. Bye!